Hi, I'm Mark Viet, and I'm going to show you how to maintain spring blooming hydrangeas. Keep in mind there's a couple different types of hydrangeas. Many of us are familiar with the pink and blue hydrangeas. They call them lace caps or mop heads. They have the giant balls and they bloom early in the season, early spring, mid season. The other type of hydrangea is a summer blooming hydrangea, but the one we're talking about today is the spring blooming hydrangea that is either pink or blue. The best way to maintain these is to thin them out. And thinning means you take out some of the stems that you'll see here. You probably want to do this in early spring. You can even do it after they flower, but I like to do it before foliage really starts to grow on these. You'll notice that the flower buds are at the tips of each of these stems. These flower buds are produced in August, maybe even into September, depending on where you live. If you have really hard winters or temperatures that are really warm and really cold, for some of us, these buds freeze. No matter how you prune this plant, they will never bloom for you in the garden. That's why they've created a whole new group of re-blooming or ever-blooming hydrangeas. Pruning these hydrangeas is simple. You do not want to give them a haircut. Remember, the buds are produced in the fall. If you cut the buds off, like if you were just to come in and cut off every stem like this, well, guess what? You've removed every bud. It will never bloom for you. I'm talking about thinning. So what I like to do is grab about 10 stems in your hand. I've got 10 stems here, and I'm going to take out two out of every 10 stems. I'm going to reach down and prune out this one, and I'm going to prune out this other one here. Maybe take out two of these oldest stems completely out. Then I'll come to another part of the plant, and I'm going to do the same thing take two out of every 10 stems. But again, these are spring blooming hydrangeas. You do not want to remove these buds. These are the buds that'll give you those pink or blue flowers every spring. So you want to leave those on the tips. If for some reason your spring blooming hydrangeas are too big, just imagine if your hydrangeas are this big and they're dwarfing your house, what can you do? You can once every 10, 12, 15 years, severely cut them back. And that means you just come right in and you cut them all the way to the ground just like this. Again, you would do this late winter or early spring. Remember, you will lose the flowers for one year, but they're gonna come back with beautiful stems and fantastic flowers. I'm Mark Viette on how to maintain and prune spring blooming hydrangeas.